There is a quote I love which says, stories make people listen, but it's visuals that make people remember. If you're a professional speaker, author, entrepreneur, executive, or thought leader, then you probably want to present yourself and your message to the world in a powerful, purposeful, and authentic way. One of the methods that we use to do this is branded photography. Done well, publicity photos visually punctuate the stories you want to tell about your business, your brand, and your life. But done badly, and your audience is gonna feel that there's a disconnect between your message and your brand. So here's some advice on creating great publicity photos. It starts with getting really clear on how you want to use your branded lifestyle photography in your marketing so that it represents you as a thought leader, illustrates your expertise, and gives the audience an insight into your personality. I've had the good fortune of working with some incredible photographers over the years, and one of the best is New York-based photographer John D'Amato. Let me explain the difference between working with a photographer like John, who understands thought leaders, as opposed to the average Main Street photographer. When you work with a photographer like John, one who specializes in creating images for thought leaders, then it will often start with the two of you doing some kind of discovery call or meeting. In that meeting, the photographer is gonna help you identify who you are, who you serve, what makes you unique, and why you do what you do. This conversation will shape your branded photo session, what outfits you're gonna wear, the locations that you'll shoot in, what props to bring, and the overall mood and vibe of the portraits themselves. There are four types of photos that you're gonna want. The first is the standard portrait shot, which you'll use as a profile image on your website, across your social networks, and for media purposes. You'll also want some nice lifestyle and working shots. For example, if you're a professional speaker, then you'll need some hero shots of you on stage. If you are an author, get some with you at your laptop or writing in a journal. If your main business is consulting, then perhaps it's images of you brainstorming with a group of people. However, don't forget the lifestyle angle. If part of your brand is about projecting a jet set lifestyle, then perhaps there are shots of you at an airport or getting into a limousine. It's also essential that you create a series of photographs with you against a solid background or surrounded by empty space. These are invaluable for things like quote images for social media or so that conference organizers can add their branding afterwards. Finally, there are prop shots. If you're an author, it's the images of a stack of your books or you holding a copy. If you're an inventor, it's shots of you with your invention. If you're a guitarist, it's you holding your prized guitar. When you work with a great photographer like John D'Amato, he'll already know how you'll use any photos. So when he's framing and doing post-production on shots, he is ensuring that they were gonna work for all three major uses. And those uses are, first of all, your website. You'll need different images for your homepage than your About Me page or your on-site banners and email forms. Your average photographer will not know this, which is why it's worth paying a little bit more to hire a photographer who's used to working with thought leaders. Then there's social media. After a one day photo shoot with John, he was able to give me enough social media friendly images so that I could create a post once a day for every day of the year. I hear all too often speakers, musicians, and authors who will pay thousands of dollars for a one day shoot only to get two or three usable images. You'll want to work with a photographer who can give you over 100 usable publicity images. There are also certain types of images that you're going to need for printed materials. John took one of my favorite book cover photos ever for Pia Silva's book, Badass Your Brand. Check out his website to see what I mean. A good photographer will also know what kind of images will work best on book covers, giveaways, and printed materials. And regardless of what sex you are, I suggest hiring a hair and makeup person. If you're a professional speaker, musician, or thought leader, then you are your product, and you want that product to look great. If you'd like to learn about doing a photo shoot like the one I did with John D'Amato, or getting more publicity photo tips, then go to johndomato.com. Thanks for watching.